Well, welcome back. It's really wet, it's really windy, it's really cold. Trees are all looking pretty damn good. Except for everything's getting too wet. Everything's covered in moss. So we're going to start getting stuff taken indoors and uh, start sorting it all out for winter. First of all, I'm going to start with this maple. Now, the story with this maple is, about 25, 30 years ago, a friend of mine worked in a nursery that specialised in maples, and he gave me a group of these maples, and uh, this one ended up in my mum's garden in a pot for about 25 years. And about two years ago, she brought it back down, probably three years ago, maybe. So, I think what we'll do then, is we'll grab that maple, and we'll... Uh, We'll head indoors, and uh, at least under cover, and we'll take it from there. So, wind's getting up, the sky's very ominous, so I think, yeah, we'll grab this tree, and uh, we'll take it somewhere to work on. And, stop press, I finally I've worked out what this is that I uh, dug out the garden the other week. It's a uh, it's a variant of Berberis, so I should uh, I'll stick that in the comments. Something else I'm going to do in this video, or maybe the next one, is this small bit of uh, Scots pine Yamadori that I collected about two or three years ago. It's got some nasty bits to tidy up from where the chopping is, and need to rewire and maybe just give it a repot, have a look at the roots, see where we're at. Anyway, let's get on with this maple. First of all, I'm just going to get all these dead leaves out of the way. A few dead branches in there. They can come out. Yeah, there we are. Didn't need anything to cut that out. Yeah, I think it's safe for us to see that we can come back to those two buds there and 
ね。As we get these big branches off because they're rubbing against the wall and that's really bugging me so let's just uh, get rid of some of these branches up here cut some of this stuff back So uh, lots of options in there, lots of branch selection to uh, consider, but overall that's two or three years into rebuilding a new top since chopping it and uh, I've just let it grow and pruned it back hard the first year and it's just grown back again so it's a, it's a slow process but there we are. Well, it's starting to dry out this tree, but um, it's still incredibly wet all around the roots. So I uh, spent most of the afternoon trying to find the nabari and all the root flare. It's down there somewhere. Um, just going to let that dry out so I can actually see what I'm doing. And done a bit more branch selection up the top, so tidied up a few wounds. And uh, yeah, just ongoing really. So. We'll just keep uh, keep coming back to it. 